to be here today and I have um, something which has been bothering me and I think I want to to, to do it hmm? oh my viewers if you view this I'm glad you did because I have um, um today it's a special day I'm planning to do something which I know will touch you and um, it will make your life it will change your life yes it will change your life and yeah i may be doing some other things in my video but the purpose of my youtube is to help you know you are important no matter where you are no matter the kind of life no matter what you do excuse me I'm back. Uh, I mean that um, I'm here to tell you that it's so important that if you believe in God, your life will never be the same again. And if you trust God in your life, nothing will be possible. As you know, God can make you, your life be the way you want it to be. But the most important is you to understand what you want in life what are you looking for and where you want to be in life you know some people give up and then their life is over because you don't it, no matter where you are no matter what you're doing no matter how your life is no matter your poor or rich you have something in your life you have been waiting to have for so long and you cannot wait to have it and then you see your life is over and you know you you get hint some things which you cannot even understand why and then you ask you're going a lot you're going through a lot you cannot pay your rent you cannot buy a good a, a good uh, a good clothes you cannot eat well you cannot even a phone to eat a good meal you know this is for you I'm telling you from my experience what I've gone through in my life and I want to help you to be the same as me to go from zero to somewhere okay from nothing to something and from nowhere to somewhere okay so I just want you to listen please you have to listen to the for to the head of this video if you want to know something about your life if you want your life to be changed you have to lean and watch all the video to the end because you cannot understand anything if you don't view the the, the video i have uploaded here for you to watch because you may, may see it's boring you don't want to watch it but you don't know that at the end of the movie of the video yes of the of the video you are watching right now it will have impact you know right? it will have some something it will encourage you know get something even if you get you don't get everything you'll get at least one point which will make you understand the situation and everything and then you can really make it work where you see it is impossible so listen to me and watch until the end and maybe at the end of the video you'll get something for you to understand but if you just cut it up and say ah this is boring you never know what you're missing you have to listen to me i'm here to tell you especially the one who is almost giving up and the one who is is seeing that everything is over okay and the one who is saying oh my goodness i cannot go any further especially right now you cannot do anything in your life you know that's what i'm here today to tell you you have to 
watch this until the end and you have to follow me or subscribe to my channel because i will give you something you may you have missed for all your lives so you have to do this you have to follow me okay and i promise you you never regret over subscribing to my channel liking my videos watching to the head it will give you something okay it will give you something and it will help me to do you know someone is watching otherwise you you don't you don't judge book by its cover okay you don't judge book by its cover you have to look inside maybe at the hand at the middle there's something good for you okay yeah that's all i i, I understand things you don't the book you may be boring as a cover but when you look inside one part is so romantic so nice so advising and you can get the answer well, well the answer straight what you want to ask okay so i'm here today i'm telling you my viewer if you view this tell your friends and if you know someone who is in need of help to come and watch this so for the for that i have to tell you this the one who are giving up because we are we are different kind of people but i think most of us go in the same situation same strategies but you don't know how to come over that strategies but the, most of all that i have to tell you is this if you don't born again if you don't believe in god if you don't know how to pray if you don't ask jesus for your help if you're not saved if you don't go to church please it's the time for you to change it's time for you to go back to god you may have given up but this is your this is your start you have to start over again if your life behind but back when it was not good you don't know what is forward from today so i'm telling you exactly now what you have to do come back to jesus come back to god come back to wherever you are now I may I know you have given up and you, you need a push so that you can know what you want. So I'm telling you, my view you have to do. If you're not born again, again Christian, please come to Jesus. He is there everything you ever wanted in life. Don't think of any disagreement or disadvantage. No. Jesus has no disadvantages. There is you have ups and downs, but Jesus is there to lead you on and you will never fall, okay? God will help you lift you up again. Yes, the temptation comes, but you have to know it makes you stronger as a Christian. I know I've come a lot through in, before I edit here I am. You know, I cannot tell you things which I don't know. I tell you out of my experience, and I want you to know that god is everlasting his favor and mercy is a duel in all lifetime unless you don't want it and other things you have to do come back to god pray to be saved be saved ask jesus to come into your life he is the only savior in this world and if you don't know that i'm telling you you cannot get it yes don't think of people, people are not rich. You know, there's nobody who is rich. Even the people who are rich have, have problems. What you have to ask in life, don't ask for the world riches, which is, which rot. They rot away and they, they, if you die, you never go with the riches in heaven. No, you don't, you, you, you die and go in the, in the, in the, cro in the, in the grave without nothing, okay? Even the expensive rings or expensive clothes, expensive, even expensive phones, we don't go with them in the grave, okay? We leave everything behind here. So, look for the important thing in life. God is everything you need to. And if you ask Jesus for any favor, I'm telling you, he will exactly give the favor to you. You don't have to worry about anything I'm telling you, my friend. My viewer, I'm telling you, I want to help you. Especially those, those ones who are the who are very disappointed who are almost giving up you know i'm here to give you testimony that god saves lives and jesus is there to help you move on and lift you up again and you stand strong and you have everything you ever needed 
If ever, whatever you ask for, God will give you. Whatever you ask for, whatever you desire, okay, God will give it to you. So the only thing you have to do is call upon it, His name, call upon the God, and He will lift you up again, okay. Yes, I know many people they, they don't believe in uh, they don't believe in witchcraft, but the the thing thing is. Witchcraft is real, okay? Enemies are there. You would never know your, who is your enemy. Your enemy might be your brother. Your enemy might be your sister. And your enemy might be your auntie. Your enemy is your relative, okay? Your enemy is the one who is close to you. Your enemy is your best friend. Your enemy is those you share your secret with. You never know who is your enemy, okay? Don't say a particular person is your enemy because we don't know, okay? The enemy is the one who is opposite to you. But if you don't have the enemy, don't share your things with anybody. And if you have a vision, you have a, you have a destiny, and your dream is to be somewhere, don't tell anybody your dream, okay? If you tell everybody your dream, some will shut it out, okay? Some will jealous, will be jealous. Some will laugh at you. And some will say, "Horse, oh, you never have it. You never get there." And you know, this there is a power of the mouth in the tongue. The power of the tongue. It says things, and it can. It's like a witch. You know, it is a witchcraft. If you say something, and it's like you are cursing your life or blessing your life. So when you say things, please stop. Uh, stop cursing yourself. Stop saying I cannot make it. Stop saying this is not me. Stop this, I cannot be there. Stop, I cannot have this. Stop, I cannot go there. No, stop. Stop and start over, okay? It's not too late for you to start your new life again. It's the time for you to start up and enjoy life, okay? And welcome Jesus into your life and tell him, Jesus, I want you to come through me or through it all with me. I need you to help me come all this way. Yes, you may. You have your dream. I know you have it. And it's, it's the time for you to make your dream come true. Because without a dream, you cannot go far. I'm telling you. So, for me here, I'm here seated right here. I wake up in this morning. And I say today, I have to say what I promised God I'll do. To encourage someone who is lost and who is almost giving up at this kind of time okay because me i was almost my hand my life was almost nothing until one day god sent an angel you know an angel is not uh it's not a way to wing or the or someone who is uh who will come from heaven an angel is someone who comes into your life give a change and change completely and gives you a vision that your life will be will be better someday that is a an angel okay the an angel is someone who rescue you when you have a problem and they come at the right you I want them in your life. Okay? That's an angel, okay? So I'm telling you, you can tell God to send an angel from heaven, wherever they are, okay, to come. Oh, Jesus Christ. I remember my time. Okay? <laughs> I, can't, I, I just remember something, okay? I used to pray a lot. I used to pray a lot. I used to pray a lot. And I always pray a lot. And I want to help you too, okay? Sometimes you are lost with the ones of what to pray. I know, yeah, of course. we. And you always say one thing many times, okay? You repeat same prayer each and every day, okay? So, and you don't say, you know, you say different things sometimes. Sometimes when you're praying for this miracle, you forget the miracle you're praying for you go to another point okay you pray for another another thing but it's not like that if you're praying for the money to have some money or income focus on that focus on the how you can get the money okay but the money will not be sent to your in to your bank account money will not send to you like 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 a magic no there's something they can done and money will come to your account. But it's not a magic, okay? There's some way the money will come to your account or you can get a job or someone will help you when you really... So I'm telling you this this uh, this morning, okay? And I want you to understand that God 
is ready to help you, okay? And with God, everything is possible, okay? God can do anything. And as I said, I was saying earlier, and uh, I, tell, I tell people when we talk about the, um, this coronavirus, I tell them coronavirus is not above God. Coronavirus is not, a defe it's not defeating the world. Coronavirus is you and me to make it finish. It's you and me to say no corona, okay? Because if you're going singing, singing, singing corona every day, it will just be allowed, okay? But if you join me and join another person and say this, corona is no more, it's not going to be above us because God is there above everything, okay? Above all kingdom, above all powers, above all throne. Jesus, God is there above all everything. So I want you to watch out, okay? When you sing things, know that there's power in tongue okay and everything you you say if your tongue can happen okay don't curse your children if you have one don't say this this is foolish children this stupid children this cow children why are you in? don't cut your children too okay bless your children as they grow up no matter how small they are always bless them don't call them names because that name is so important that they can affect the children in the future. Don't call your child a foolish. Don't call your child a... Uh, this is not body, whatever. This name should call your child. Don't call them, okay? Bless your children and God will bless them too. So as you are here and you are having a problem in your life, I'm, I'm telling you today, God will reward you, okay? And all you have to do, come back to Jesus. Pray for the for, for confession. Say a all your sins, okay, and God will come on the one day, okay. As I go, I continue. I want to tell you this: don't continue to subscribe, okay. <laughs> don't continue to be here so I can be able to know. I am telling you all these things, and you have to. You will be there to listen and to 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 understand and to support, okay. So I can know. I have some who want to listen to me, but if I talk to myself on, I'll. I do I know you? I hope to do I know you have uh, something uh, good in your life. Mm? So, as I am here right now, I'm thinking that somebody somewhere is suffering, is as just at the end of the turn where you cannot turn or you cannot go back. Okay? So, I am telling you, Jesus can change this to the situation and the life will be better and the life will never change. The life will change, okay? God will change your life. Listen, pray. Don't stop praying. Don't stop fasting. Don't stop praying at night, okay? If you can ever wake up at 3 p.m., 3 a.m., sorry, at night, that is the most important thing, the most important day of night to pray, okay? I also, you know, sometimes I also feel like there's something comes over me, I don't I don't feel like I want to pray anymore. I want to open, I want to wake up at night and pray and pray. But the time I need to pray, the near time I need to pray, I feel like I'm sleepy. I cannot even wake up. But I say, this is not going to affect my life. I'm going to dig down and pray and pray and pray until my everything is in order, until my promises god made to me that all over okay i have my testimony okay and i'm waiting i have two more remaining two i have two more wish for my god to accomplish for me and if that one pass thanks to god okay and i believe okay i'm here to tell you i believe they will come true and so that you can understand that believing understanding and praying is the only thing God understands, okay? And whenever you pray, please don't be crying to God. Don't make noise. And first of all, people don't know how to pray. Some don't know how to pray. For me, I was taught, and I want to teach you, especially those who know how to pray and those who want to, uh, to start praying because God loves you the way you want. God loves everybody, okay? No matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you have done in the past, God loves you now, okay? What you want to do is go back to God, pray for the, co confess, tell God all your sins, whatever you have done in the past, whatever you have committed, whatever you have thought of, whatever you have dreamt of, and whatever you said which is not right. 
God is God is gonna dear forgive you. And always when you are praying, just remember to pray. Follow this example. I will tell you right now. Okay, when you are praying, and this is what will work for you. If you know you are in situation when you are stuck and you cannot move forward, you cannot even if you are praying for a long time, you have been praying for years, but nothing has happened. Let me tell you today. All you have to pray is this: ask God for forgiveness. As you go, you start your prayers. Ask God to forgive you. God to forgive your sins. God to give you whatever you have committed, whether knowingly or unknowingly, whatever secretly or unsecretly. Tell Him to forgive you. Confess the sin you have done and tell God to purify your heart and soul and your body and everything. And then after you confess all your sins and you have purified yourself and God has cleansed you, tell Him you are everything, what you need to tell Him. Tell Him you are, you are cry, you are what you need in life. Tell him everything. And then, Dandre, tell him thank you for helping you to overcome that. And tell him for answering your prayers. Even though it has not been answered, remember to thank him for answering your prayers. That is the only way that your prayer will be answered. It doesn't matter how long it will take. Some, they can be answered today. Some, tomorrow, instant. Some take years. Some take months. But it's upon you to ask God. For those when you're praying don't call people names when you're praying don't call people names in your prayers don't call people that you people you know if you know they are your enemy don't call them because people have no problems if the spirit inside them which made their life make your life miserable okay so you have to if you're praying and you know your enemy who are they please tell God those spirits inside those people to vanish and to just to leave you alone. So you are good. Okay. And if you don't know how to pray sometimes, there is Google prayers. Oh people are there are people who got that touched and they have pre written prayers on internet to help you who is lost to come back to God and you pray them. You can and because especially those who knows how difficult it is right now in the life, okay? You know, you have a style, okay? Um, if you can, if you are very, very Christian, you can understand. Everybody has their style, okay? A style is uh, your life. How God created you from the time he knew you from the womb of your mother. That is the, your style. And someone has been, been taking your style away from you. That's what I want to tell you. I'm going to pray for you. And God, do, God will answer your prayers. God will, God will rescue you. And I'm telling you, this 2020 is not going to finish without you resting. Okay? And I know God of heaven, God of Abraham, God of Isaac and Mesach and Red Noble will come to rescue you. Let me pray with you. And I hope you'll be blessed. And I hope God will touch you. And God will, will rescue you and God will save you and God will protect you and God will be with you and God will welcome you to his presence. And I know you'll be blessed. I am going to finish now, but I'm going to pray for you and God will bless you. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray that God, the viewer who has viewed this right now, they are in distress. They have problem in their life. They know this. This is the end of their life. They know that they are finished. They cannot go forward. That they cannot do anything, my God. But now, brighten up their future. Let them know that God, you can do things for them. Let them know that your future, their future, is in your hand, and you're going to open up them. The viewer who is viewing this right now, my Father, the one who is almost giving up. Help them, God. Let them remember that, God, with you, everything is possible. Let them come to you and let them know you more and more. And I pray that my viewer, their life will never be the same again. I pray and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. May God bless you. And bye.